Acorafenib and uh, binimitinib have been approved as a combination in patients uh, suffering from metastatic melanoma carrying the BRAF V600 mutation. Um, what we have learned is that this combination is quite effective um, uh, actually fighting the disease. Uh, we are seeing uh, a large proportion uh, having uh, clinical responsive, complete responses and partial responses. Uh, more than 75% of the patients responding. Uh, we have uh, 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 progression-free survival, tumor control, which is uh, unprecedented. We have uh, um, tumor control for up to 15 months uh, in that uh, patient uh, cohort. And we have now uh, also recently uh, overall survival data uh, with a median follow-up of close to three years. And uh, we know that uh, the median overall survival using this combination in first-line uh, treatment of uh, those patients is more than uh, 33 months. I think what we have learned over the last years is that uh, the dual MAP kinase uh, blockade um, is of critical importance fighting uh, metastatic melanoma carrying this V600 mutation. and. Um, this combination, and particularly encorafenib, seems to be a very effective uh, BRAF inhibitor, which has uh, a long half-life, a, a high affinity uh, to its uh, kinase, and uh, is giving uh, really good um, 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 inhibitory activity. Uh, we see that uh, as part of the um, Columbus trial, because there was a second and a third arm, uh, comparing the combination of uh, encorafenib and benimitinib to the monotherapy of encorafenib and the monotherapy of vemorafenib as a third arm. And you could compare the efficacy of the both monotherapy arms, vemorafenib and encorafenib. And what, what uh, was seen is a head-to-head -head comparison clearly demonstrating that encorafenib is a most, uh, more efficient BRAF inhibitor in comparison to vemorafenib. If a patient um, is uh, benefiting from a braf mec uh, combination like uh, encorafenib and binimitinib, this can last uh, for quite some time. Uh, we have actually patients who are on treatment for years. But there are uh, occasions where uh, combined uh, targeted therapy is not sufficient or, is not, uh, or tumor control is lost. Uh, for these patients, for example, checkpoint blockade uh, would be an option uh, to rescue these patients. Strategies to overcome resistance to BRAF MEC um, is obviously a hot topic uh, in translational research. Um, there is uh, no uh, uh, easy road to overcome that. Um, uh, possibly, uh, uh, to hit the tumor hard um, and uh, early would be one strategy. So to treat uh, with a maximum force uh, the, the, the tumor um, early if uh, tumor burden is not so high, if LDH is still low, we know that these patients have the maximum benefit of uh, the treatment, sometimes over years and possibly uh, even uh, being cured. Uh, but um, possibly also uh, combining, uh, for example, uh, BRAF-MEC and in the future with checkpoint blockade could be an option to maximize the benefit of both treatment strategies we currently have in hand. Um, we have already two approved uh, combinations um, uh, for BRAF-MEC uh, uh, combinations. Uh, Dabrafenib, Tramitinib, and uh, Vemorafenib, and Cobimitinib. Uh, both combinations have uh, pro and cons. Uh, they have safety profiles which are quite different to the newly approved uh, Binimitinib and uh, Ankorafenib. Um, and I think the safety profile of the newest combination is uh, quite favorable. And I think uh, based on the safety profile, uh, that will um, um, actually be an excellent option for many patients uh, to be treated as a first option um, if they are carrying a V600 mutation.